Morris and Sao Juan. I am from the South Bar unit, and today I'm going to read you guys a story named Cat Kong. Cat Kong, written and directed by Dave Pickley. One dark and pearliest night, the three mouse explorers sailed towards a strange, uncharted island. Captain Charles Limburger steered the tiny vessel, while Dr. Vincent Varmint and his beautiful assistant, Rosie Roden, looked on. When they reached the island, the three explorers were astonished. A group of natives were performing an ancient ceremony, offering up a sacrificial can of tuna, fish, and repeating a mysterious chant. Here, kitty, kitty, here, kitty, kitty, here, kitty, kitty. Suddenly, the island began to tremble. Crashing through the thick forest came the most frightening creature ever known to mouse kind, the mighty cat Kong. Meowing and hissing ferociously, the colossal cat took three giant kitty steps. And tripped over the tuna fish can, clunk, Cat Kong bumped his head on the ground and was knocked out cold. If only we could bring back this to the city with us, said Dr. Varmint. No, replied Rosie Rodin. It would be wrong to take this creature away from its natural habitat just to satisfy our scientific curiosity. Forget science, squeaked Dr. Varmint. Think of the money we could make. So the three explorers wrapped up Cat Kong in a giant burlap bag and tied him up tightly to the ship. As they sailed back to the great city of Mosopolis, they took special care not to let the cat out of the bag. Several days later in downtown Mosopolis, Dr. Varmint unveiled his discovery to sold out crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, he squeaked, I give you Cat Kong, the nine lived wonder of the world. The audience cheered. Cat Kong, however, was not amused. The towering tomcat hissed and meowed wildly. Don't be afraid, Dr. Varmint told the crowd. There is no way this creature can escape. I repeat, there is no way this creature can escape. Well, uh, actually, I could be wrong about that. Soon, the city of Mosopolis was in panic. The ferocious feline tore through the streets, knocking down buildings, ripping up power lines, and generally causing quite a ruckus. Captain Charles Limburger rushed off to organize a counterattack team, while the beautiful Rosie rode it, watched the destruction from her apartment window. Help, cried the engineer. That cat's got my train. Help, squeaked the butcher. That cat's got my tongue. Help, shrieked Rosie. That cat's got me. Soon, the crazed cat was heading straight for the top of the Romano Inn with the beautiful Rosie tailing behind. A fleet of airplanes quickly flew into action, but their weapons were useless against the meowing menace. It seemed if nothing could stop this terrifying cat Kong. Then suddenly, a squeaking ray of hope rocketed through the thick clouds of gloom and despair. Captain Charles Limburger to the rescue. Captain Limburger had a plan. He swooped close to the cat Kong and held out a red package tied with gold ribbons. Here, cat, he shouted. Look what I got. He circled again and, sur and again shouting. You'll never guess what's inside this package. Cat Kong stared intensely at the red package. With each passing second, a colossal kitty's interest grew and grew. Finally, Cat Kong could stand it no longer. He had to find out what was inside that package. With one swift paw, he puzzled, the puzzled cat reached out for the red package and lost his balance. Meow! When the dust settled, a crowd of mice gathered to view the final resting place of the mighty cat Kong. He's fallen, said one mouse, and he can't get up, another said. Well, said the chief of police, it looks like as if beauty killed the beast. No, 
Dr. Varmint as he looked sadly into the glowing red horizon. It was curiosity. Curiosity killed the cat. The end. Ooh. So what'd you think about that story? Pretty crazy, right? So we want to know what books you guys are reading. Take a photo, small video, and put it in our comment section. So we can know that you're still being active and learning. Thank you. Also, like and follow us on Facebook at Boys and Girls Club of Far and San Juan. Thank you, and have a nice day, guys. Bye.